Oh, that's giant. guys welcome back to our video so you guys can see today I'm on the beach today is June 3rd 2020 wearing shorts and a t-shirt maybe not even a shirt gorgeous day out here as you guys can see air temp today is like 78 winds are non-existent oceans like 60 something and it's just a gorgeous day out here sunny off of work finished all the thing I need to do for school so out here got some clams buried in the sand right here picked up some rotten clams um, hopefully those work today. I'm just gonna start with one rod you guys can see behind me. Just looking for a drum or a striper. As you guys saw in the recent video, I missed a big bass. And I got a few other little ones. I know there's some fish out here, here at low tide. And I'm gonna fish the whole incoming. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully catch a drum or a striper. We're gonna start one rod, bite heats up, switch up to another one. Might have to run out and get some bait halfway through. But I plan to be out here all day till I'm out of bait. Or maybe I'll even go ride my bike down a riptide and pick up some more bait. So just gonna enjoy my day off, catch some fish hopefully, make a nice video for you guys, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully we catch some fish. See you guys on the GoPro. Got a bite on this rod. It looks like just another little dogfish. That's probably what it is. Something tiny. Probably just a skate, man. Come on. Yep. Little dogfish. At least he didn't take our bait. Little doggy. There he goes. Funny little guys. Not our target species though for the day, but at least we got our bait still. So far, just feeding dogfish. That's what the day looks like. But yeah, for our tactics, just got a little piece of clam right here. Then I'm just digging real quick, finding an easy sand crab. And we're gonna tip the hook with a little sand crab right here. That'll hopefully keep our bait on without messing up the presentation that much. Eight ounce Sputnik. And we're just launching as far as we can. This Tika can do a pretty good job with that launching it out there. I'm trying to get out past the sandbar, but it's pretty impossible. Not that bad of a cast though. Hopefully the fish are in close and no more doggies. Let's see what comes on by. That's a fish. Hopefully it's not a dogfish. I think it is though, dang it. I think it's barely fighting. Probably a dogfish. Dang it. Ah, oh, man. This guy's got some type of infection or something. Nasty. Yuck. Nasty. 
nasty little dogfish. Man, this guy's got like parasites on him or something. See ya. That guy hit on the salted clam I just picked up. Not one of the rotten ones from earlier. But I don't know if there's any correlation between that or if that was just unlucky. Hopefully we don't get too many more. At least we still got our bait though. That guy had some serious infection or something with him. But here we go, five ounce spot nick, little fish find a rig. Incoming tide now, so hopefully the bass and drum start to show up. Casting right there on that sandbar. And hopefully as the tide comes up and there more water goes on there, the fish will come in from behind the sandbar right in this trough right here. And find my clams, that's the, that's the plan. I hope to avoid the dogfish for the rest of the day, but you know what? At least it's better than a skunk and they're not taking my bait, so ain't no complaints. Let's see what we can catch. Hopefully the tide keeps coming in. Maybe get a nice uh, sport fish, game fish. That's something. Probably it's a doggy again. We'll see though. A lot of dogfish today. Yep, dogfish, dang it, man. Popped off at least. Ate that clam, can't keep it away from them. No, no real fish that I want right now. It's just all dogfish out here so far. Hopefully that changes, but I don't see it happening anytime soon. We'll see what happens. That's a bite. That's taking a run too. That'd be something good guys, I don't know. Crank down the drag, probably it's not our dogfish. That's a bigger fish I think. Could just be a big doggy, but I don't know. It probably is a dogfish. I'm not gonna get too excited. Yep, doggy, dang it. Thought it was a big bass, man. Thing hit like a train. These guys can fight, that's for sure. There we go. Another dogfish. Down for the day. See you, dude. Water's the other way, buddy. Peace. That guy hit like a train, man. I thought it was a big fish. Thought that was like a nice drum or something. Oh, well, put up a nice fight. I'm not gonna complain. That was actually a pretty fun fight. Thought it was a giant striper. That tail hurts though when they whack you, man. That sandpaper keeps just destroying my skin. All right, we'll bait up and get back out there. Looks like it's just a dogfish day today. That was a bite. Oh, he's not on there anymore? No, he's there, he's there, he's there. That's a doggy again, man. Nothing but doggies today. On the salted clam, on the fresh clam, rotten clam, all the same. They make good runs, but that's it, dude. Just great being out here on the beach, relaxing, getting sunburnt. Nice and warm, so pretty soon, time for some real shark fishing. Just a few more weeks, we'll be out here with the 
the big rods, big baits, and catching some some proper toothy sharks. Not fighting though anymore. I don't know what's wrong with these guys. Just lazy. There he is. It's a pain in the butt to unhook. There you go, guys. Get dogfish of the day. Send him back. See you, bud. Starting to get a little tired of him, but I'll get something to catch. Cast it back out. At least she's all got her same piece of bait on here. This is on the salted clam on the uh, 11 foot tsunami air wave. Elite with 5,000 size pen battle, 40 pound power pro, and just a hand, hand tied fish finder rig, a little piece of salted clam. Five ounce Sputnik weight. There's definitely enough out here, but I'm getting a little tired of the dogfish. I'll, I'm gonna have to admit that. Their tails are like sandpaper, so once they kick me, you guys can see they're shredding up my arms, make me bleed a little bit, give me a rash. I mean, I'm not complaining that much. It's something fun to catch. Maybe something else swim around. Just gotta weed through the trash fish. I know there's bass and drum around, but just gotta get the bait in front of them instead of the dogfish. Hopefully that was the lucky cast. We'll see. A few moments later. So he already pretty much gave up. Not much of a fight left. That's how you can tell it's a dogfish. Oh man. There he is. Oh, that's a giant one, dude. That's a big doggy. Oh shoot. Ah, you butt line just snapped let's get away on him real quick state records 19 pounds i just want to see how close i am what we got here that's 14 pounds right there five pounds short of the world record Sick. There you go, guys. 14 pound dogfish. Send him back. That's a big one right there, dude. Five pounds short of the state record. That's a nice fish. I'm actually not too, not too disappointed. There he is. All right, bud. Thanks for the fight. You know, those big ones are actually pretty enjoyable to catch, not gonna lie. 15 pounder, that's a big fish. If I get a bigger one, that'd be awesome, but it's not a bad dogfish at all. Funny enough, guys, salted clams are actually outperforming the rotten clam that I have, but it kind of makes sense. I mean, nothing wants to eat a rotten clam, but this is at least was fresh at one point and was preserved and frozen. So at least I know something likes it out here. Bought a little pint of these for $7 today versus spending $10 for rotten clams. Dogfish aren't too picky. We'll pretty much eat anything out there. We'll see what happens. And check my other rod in a sec and rebate that, but yeah, just retied. This guy broke my line. I guess I had a bad knot or something. Actually, a ton of fun to catch a 
the sharks on this setup right here. Like I said, 11 foot air wave, rated one to five, and uh, 5,000 size reel compared to my 7,500 7, over there. Just bought another combo too. I'll show you guys that in another video, but excited to break that out once shark season rolls around the corner. But here we go. A little lighter combo right here. Still getting it done. Making those dogfish a little more enjoyable, especially when they're 14 pounds. That's a real nice one. Let's bomb this out there. All right, see what happens. Clams anchored out there. See if we can get any more fish. Another doggy. Another big one. Oh my gosh, man. Oh, that's a giant. That's a huge one, dude. Those are some big head shakes. We're loving the salted clam, man. Here it comes. This is a tank, dude. Need a wave, so I'm gonna bring him in. That's a giant one, man. Oh my God, it's a drum. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. It's a drum. Oh my God, man. Oh my God, there we go. Yeah, black drum. Yeah, I thought it was a shark too. That's all I've got so far today. Nah, I'm throwing him back. Thank you. Oh. There you go guys, big old black drum, call with a dogfish, obviously not, send him back. Dude, thought this guy was a world record dogfish. Sick drum, man. There he is, dude. Awesome fish. Make sure he gets a good revival. There he goes, dude. That is so sick. Nice drum, would have been a good eater, but send him back. Maybe I'll catch another one, but I thought that was a big dogfish. Obviously not, dude. That was so sick. Not a dogfish, guys. Thought that was another big doggy. Probably a state record one, but that drum, it's just good. Put the time in, we threw the junk fish. I knew it was gonna be sooner or later that I was gonna catch one of those guys. Awesome. All right, guys, same bait right here. This is literally all we had out there. It was like the worst part of the clam. And this guy slurped it up. But that's why I said, I know there's some good fish out there, some good game fish, but just a dogfish seemed to be getting there before the drum. That was definitely a welcome surprise though, man. I mean, I thought it was a dogfish for like 99%, for the, all, the entirety of the fight. I thought I had the state record dogfish. I was actually really excited already. 
And then I saw the drum and <laughs> you guys heard me. I started freaking out, dude. I did not expect that at all, actually. I knew that they were out there somewhere. I just didn't think I would come to my line today. Put up a great fight on the light rod. Only my second drum ever, man. And this is great fishing. I mean, I'm out here shirtless, wearing a bathing suit, wading, no waders. Just walking out, casting it, like 80 degree air temp. Beautiful day, no wind, sunny. I mean, there's day couldn't really be any better, weather-wise. One of the best, best times of the year is right now, fishing. Still some stripers around. Obviously some drum around. Dogfish are good. Kingfish are out there. There's just so much to choose from. So toss that way back out there. Maybe I'll get in our drum. Take us real quick. Thank you. Oh my God. Buddy spooled me. That's a big fish, dude. That's a doggy I'm thinking now. Freaking thing spooled me, dude. Good thing my knots are good. Dude, that thing ran. On that same piece of clam that drum took, dude. That is crazy. I don't know what this thing is, man. I'm gonna say doggy, for sure. But, uh, like I said, I don't know. Yeah, it's a dogfish, yeah. A monster dude another big one oh. just gonna measure him real quick all right there's no way I'm measuring him let's just weigh him all right what is his weight 15. There we go, guys. Another good doggy. 15 pounder. See ya. All right, dude, same piece of clam again. So far, this guy has caught with black drum and a dogfish, and it's literally just a crappy piece of clam. But well, the fish are loving it. That's a bite. Finally, man. It's a little one. I think it's a dogfish, probably. What the? It's a striper, yeah. <laughs> I knew it was different than what I've been getting. That's a tiny, that's a rat, man. Baby striper, dude. Here we go, guys. Third species of the day, a little striped bass. Dogfish, black drum, and striper so far. And some sunburn. Send them off. Here we go, guys. Thought it was a little dogfish, but I was fighting a little different. Nice bass on the clam. There he goes. Sick. See you, bud. Here we go, guys. Nice little rat slash schoolie bass on the clam. The third species of the day. I mean, the day just keeps getting better the longer I fish out here. Let's see what the day has in store for us. All right, 
well guys it's now that time of the video um current i don't know why but the current as the day got later even though the tide's slowing down it's almost gonna be high tide in like 30 minutes the current really ramped up i had five ounce splunks out there and they were just going like this so i ran out the rip tide already picked up some five those five ounce splunks but apparently they didn't want to hold later in the day but you know what i mean i i could have asked for a better day today was an exceptional day um got three species got the surf slam really for the spring um actually missing bluefish that's important but got striped bass that was our last fish that we caught before that we had giant sand sand sharks dogfish whatever you want to call them um smooth dogfish is the real name 15 pounders only four pounds short of the state record slash world record but that would have been sick that's why i was weighing them don't really ever weigh fish but i know there's a state record swimming out there somewhere who else is dog fishing really and then we got the black drum too which I thought was a dogfish but obviously not a nice little black drum right there probably 20 pounder um i've been out here since 11 30 12 o'clock it's now 6 15 now you guys can see i mean probably can't see that well but pretty burn up even though i put some block on my legs are especially toasted right there um so yeah i'm gonna be hurting the next few days so to my sacrifice hope you guys enjoy this video thanks for watching uh, might, be my, might be one of my last surf sessions out here looking for the uh the drum and the striper because it's june 3rd june 4th june 4th today and um pretty soon these fish are going to be gone i don't want to be spending a lot of money on bait and i'd rather just catch kingfish fluke sharks maybe sheep's head and then all shore trips with the reaper um this summer that's what we're probably gonna be targeting that's what's gonna be going on but uh yeah it was a good spring hopefully it's not over yet we're gonna see what the drum bite's like but yeah nice seven hour soak today getting up some sun gorgeous day the weather could not have been better but uh yeah we're gonna leave now thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already like the video if you guys enjoyed the video show me um, in the comments, let me know if you guys like the GoPro on the head or like it on the chest as before. And uh, yeah, try my best to make good videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Set for a third time. See you in the next one. Peace.